To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to fade in and out. Let's begin by going over to the Effects tab. Here, open up the Video Transitions folder and then open up the Dissolve folder. Then select the Film Dissolve effect and drag it to the very start of your video clip to fade it in. To fade out your clip instead, simply drag the Film Dissolve effect to the very end of your clip. OK, and now when I play this back, my video fades in, and when it reaches the end, it fades out. To change the speed of your fade, simply hover your cursor over the end of the transition and drag it to adjust its duration. And I'll just do the same thing to extend my fade out all right, and now my fades happen more gradually. That's really it from this tutorial, but I'm going to explain why I don't use other dissolves like Additive Dissolve. So instead of having the film dissolve, I'll just drag this Additive Dissolve to the start of my clip and extend its duration. When I play this back, you'll notice that extending its duration didn't slow down my dissolve. It just made the first part of my video black. That's why I stick with the film dissolve over the additive dissolve, unless you want the extra black space. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.